with Zena Badawi. Watch on iPlayer. BBC News, I'm Martine Cropsall, the headlines at midday. Boris Johnson cancels a planned trip after a family member tests positive for coronavirus. As calls for him to resign over that Downing Street party continue, but cabinet ministers rally round him. There is no question in my mind Boris Johnson was acting in good faith to thank the people who have been helping to, uh, to guide the country through the crisis, working incredibly hard. He accepts he oughtn't to have done that looking back, but it was done in good faith. Prime Minister's behaviour has angered people across the UK, including relatives of people who died during the pandemic. It wasn't a real apology. Um, saying sorry doesn't really mean anything if your behaviour doesn't change. And it doesn't seem to me like his attitude changed at all. NHS waiting times in England reach a record high. Six million people were waiting for planned operations and procedures in November. We'll be live at the House of Commons where the Health Secretary Sajid Javid is expected to give a statement on coronavirus in England. Vaccinated UK travellers will be allowed back to France from tomorrow as the government in Paris relaxes restrictions. A warning, the care system for older and disabled people across the UK is under grim and relentless pressure due to staff shortages. now on uh, the reaction to Boris Johnson's uh, statement and apology yesterday about that uh, party that took place in Downing Street in May 2020. My colleague Victoria Derbyshire is live in Downing Street this morning. Hello. Hi. Thank you very much, Martine. Yes. Um, things that have happened today, well, the Prime Minister has pulled out of a planned a scheduled trip to Lancashire. He's meant to go to a vaccination clinic there. The reason that uh, he's done that, we're told, is because someone in his family is actually tested positive.